So, we're going to start history today for our intervention. First and foremost, we are going to do some flashcards. I'll show them to you. I want you to give me uh, three, four sentences of information on each flashcard. Is it the failures? It can be what subject have we, what topic have we been doing in history? What topic have we been doing in uh, history? Uh, yes, but constitutional monarchy falls under which topic? No, in history, what are we learning in school? Are we doing uh, India? Are we doing Middle East? Are we French Revolution. Yes, we are doing French Revolution. So in French Revolution, there are very many things that we have learned, correct? So I'm just going to give you the flashcards. And once uh, we just ran through the flashcards, uh, we will do another exam style question. Okay, so what is an exam style question? I'm going to upload a question and share it with you. And you are going to try it as if you are going to write it as if you're going to giving exam. Okay? I will be there to guide you through it. Okay. All right? So here are my cards. All ready? Hmm. Okay. All right. say of constitutional monarchy, what does it mean? How many words does it have? Uh, two words. What are the meanings? Um, government so constitution. Constitutional is government. You're absolutely right. What does the word monarchy mean? It means like the king's kingdom. Correct. So what does the word constitutional monarchy mean? It means it has to be something about the kingdom and the government. Working? Together. Together. For the citizens of? France. Absolutely fine. Does it mean that the ruler is, the king is the absolute monarch or not? It means he's not. He's not. Does he have, does he have full powers? No, he doesn't. He's sharing it with like, the government. Absolutely. Does he have the rights to take decisions alone? No. He does not have the rights to take decisions alone. So that is your constitutional monarchy. Okay? Next. The bourgeoisie. Good job. What do you know about bourgeoisie? They were like the posh people of France. Think again. They were like the first state. Were they the first state? No, they were like the third state. So they were the? Um, they were the posh people of the third estate. Absolutely. So when 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 you hear the word bourgeoisie, what do you think in terms of which sect of people are they? Are they the peasants? Are they the enlightened thinkers? Are they the businessmen? You know, they're the they're like the rich. Uh, Absolutely. They are the rich and not so rich businessmen of the third estate. estate. Absolutely fine. Okay. All right. Mm. Oh, this is very interesting. The October days. October days. Um, it's when like, the king had to sign papers. Okay. And he didn't want to sign it. Mm. So he threw it like, away and said, no, I'm not going to sign it. Okay. Um, and then he had, like, he had, he didn't have a choice to not sign. Okay. So uh, I'll rephrase the question. You are absolutely right when you said um, about uh, the king not wanting to sign the papers. When when you are asked about October days, 
how many days are we talking of? the dates of October dates that we are talking of. How many days were there? There were like... And which were those dates? 1794? No, 1790? Uh, 5. 1. Oh, 1795. 1790? Oh, 1791. Yes. And which dates are we talking of? Um, when did it begin? The? The 4th of Okay, the fourth and the fifth and the sixth. sixth. So when I speak of the October dates, what are these dates? The first of all, first of the <laughs> I'm confused now. Okay, let's do it again. Then let me give you the topic October days, Serena. What do you understand of October? It was days? like the days of like October. And which dates? Uh, October, October um, 5th and 6th. 4th? Oh, 4th and 5th and 6th. So how many dates actually? There was only like two. There were three. There were three dates. 4th, 5th and? 6th. Again, October dates were? 4th, um, 5th and 6th. Okay. And uh, which year was this? 17? 19. 1. 1. Okay. So the 4th October, 5th October, and the 6th October of 1791. One. These three dates are called the October dates. dates in French Revolution. Now you will tell me what happened on the 4th October, what happened on the 5th October, and what happened on the 6th October. Okay. So the 4th of October, mm -hmm. um, he didn't want to like Oh, um, the king didn't want to sign the paper, and he wanted to throw it because he's like, no one's gonna sign it. And then he asked for like protection to come and like help him. Where? In like Palace of Versailles. Yes. And he was like scared and he was nervous that he thought like he yes. wasn't sure like if he had made the right decision. So therefore, he called the um, soldiers. To protect him. Protect him. Okay, all right. Once the soldiers came, what happened? Um, he wanted to like. He felt more confident. And he said, "No, I'm not. I'm not going to sign this." Correct. Then what happened? Um, now this happened on the fourth. What happens next? Um, he's being brought to Paris. After fourth comes fifth. Fifth. What happened on the? Oh, he threw a feast with like soldiers um, while people were like starving outside and didn't have food, and they were like stealing bread. And um, the sailors' like wives. And where did the sailors' wives? Um, there was also like the bakers' like, wives. Fisherwomen. Fisherwomen was like. So what wives. happened there? Um, they were like wondering why are they throwing a party while everyone's starving outside. So what did they do? They started like coming together as a group of like women. How many? Um, like seven hundred. No, much more than that. Around six to six, seven thousand. Six to seven thousand women came together and, as a group, and they went to like Paris to get like the weapons. They were already in Paris. Where did oh, they, they go? They went to uh, Hotel de Ville. Ooh, bingo! <laughs> well done for remembering that. I almost forgot. You d you're doing a fine job. So what happened after that? Um, they were looking for the weapons to see where it was. So they tried to like, they brought like the gun, like, they brought like the weapons, like, but they forgot the gunpowder. Uh, so what did they do? They went where? To the Hotel de Ville. Yeah. And they took the ammunitions from there. But they only forgot the gun. Okay. So they took the ammunition from there. Did the National Guard Opposed them. Did the National Guard, who were protecting those ammunitions, fight these women back? No, they ran because they were too scared. And they did not want they to. They didn't want to mess with them because they're strong. So they did not want to mess with, as you said, with women. What did the women do after that? Um, they went to Palace of Versailles. They marched all the way in the rain to Palace of Versailles. Okay. And then what did they do? Um, they said, 
no, you're going to sign the papers. Okay. And then he had to, because he didn't have a choice. What What did they do? Did they storm into the palace? No, they went to like the king's like, room. Did they go into the king's room? No, they went to the queen's room. Chambers. And they ripped like her pillow apart. So why did they do so? What was, what were they trying to prove? Um, that they were strong. And they we will not, not let you have your power. Your way. Yeah. So they, they tore her chamber apart. Yes. And then, and they ran out. Okay. And what else did these women do? Um, they forced the king to sign the papers. Okay. And uh, what happened to the army who was supposed to protect the king? Um, they didn't because they were like, they felt like, oh no, we're coming. And they don't want to mess. So what did the women do to these soldiers? Um, they cut some of their heads off. And? Uh, they ran away. They cut their heads off and then and they put on spikes. Yes. What? When is this all happening, Serena? Uh, 1792. 1791. And out of the 4th, 5th and 6th of October, which day was this? This was like on the 5th. Yes. Brilliant. What happens on the 6th of October? Um, the king is forced to go to Paris. Yes. Now build it up. Tell me more about it. Um, now he doesn't have like a choice to not sign the paper. So, because like now he's like, feels uncomfortable. He's like, oh no, now they're going to come. Like when he signs the papers, like, he thinks that it's over now. He thinks like now it's back to normal. Okay, so but what happens? Um, do, the, do these ladies leave him alone? No, they make him go to Paris. So he and his wife and his family have to go to Paris. Are taken all the way back to Paris. Paris. And what else did the women do while um, they were marching back? Um, they made sure he didn't like, run away. And what were they doing? They were holding the soldiers like heads on spikes. So yes, to show that they have power over the king. Exactly, absolutely fine. Brilliant. So these are the three um, things. These are the three October days. days. What were the dates again, please? Four, fifth, and six. Of August? Of October. Brilliant. Well done. Okay, next. I want you to tell me what is um, tax farming. Um, tax farming is when they had to pay for all the tax, and they had to like not like not pay for any of the tax. They had to pay for everything. The third estate. They had okay. to pay for like salt tax and all the tax, like, and also the church. They had to pay for it. Okay, but. That is the information you're giving me on taxes at that time. What is the meaning of the word tax farming? Um, what was happening when we say tax farming? It's like people have to for all the tax. Like. Okay, so let's do this again, shall we? Yeah. Good job. So, how many estates were there during the French Revolution? There were like three estates. Could you tell me more about the estates, please? Um, there was like the first estate, and the second estate, and the third estate. Good. Uh, give me a brief information about the first estate. There were like the bishops, and the clergy, and the nuns. And, and the monks. monks. OK. People who belong to the? First estate. Like they were like the church members. The church people, correct. What about the second estate? Um, the second estate was like the nobles and the knights. Correct. Some who were related to the king, correct? Yeah. And what about the third estate? The third estate were the, the fisherwomen and the baker women okay. and the sailor. Um, sorry, okay. Are the call to your laptop there? Let me see your work. Your father, you wrote the phone on it. This is just enough for one of the explanations. What is that? I don't know. 
My sixth topic for the research thing, can I um, like do this in your eyes?
So just to highlight again to people, this is what one paragraph should look like. Yeah, well this person actually tried a little bit more than a paragraph for a second head. So you could try a bit more, that's fine. But that's the detail that you should be having, I think some people are getting confused what amount of detail it should be. So everybody should be Unless you're not sure on the it's it's on the can you see it here? Um, oh yeah, sorry, it's the online there. I don't think they're in more trouble. Um. Now, so this, you should really be to the end of this page by today. Or by, you should have been by the end of this page for homework. So you should have about two A4 pages typed by now. Okay? But if you picture thrown in as well, look at the pictures. There we go. Miss, can you share the example with us? I can't, unfortunately, no. Why? Because, as I mentioned, I don't, know you, I don't know if you were here this morning, but I said that the NEA, I should be helping you with any part of this. I should be showing you examples. So I definitely can't share it. This is supposed to be your own work, 100% of your own work. Yeah. Yes. No, this looks good, yeah? No, that was good. Great, perfect. That was good. Yes, I'm just going to find some after. Yes.